All right, hey guys, got a quick one for you today. Um, so I'm back in Split, just here for like a day and a half. Basically just getting caught up on editing, doing laundry, um, just kind of mellow two days, not really doing any big exploring. But right now, it's about 5.30 night. I'm going up to the tower that you can climb up in Diocletian's Palace because I didn't get to do that when I was here before. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Let's go to the top of the, I think it's a clock tower. There's no clock though, so maybe it's not a clock tower. But whatever it is, let's go to the top of it, check out some awesome views of Split. cobblestone streets of Split. I mean, I think I've said enough in my Split vlog about how much I actually love this city. I initially wasn't going to do any vlogging at all here since I already did the Split vlog, but because I didn't get to the top of this tower, I felt like, you know, this would be a good one to do, even if it is short. So I'm staying at an Airbnb. This is my walk that takes me relatively quickly into um, the historic center of Split. It's just a five minute walk or so. Oh, this is a nice restaurant. It kind of overlooks the ocean. I don't know if you can see the ocean in the background there. Or the sea, I should say, the Adriatic Sea. So anyway, it's like a five minute walk into the historic center of Split. It's a really nice Airbnb. Like everywhere else I stay, I'll link that below. But another gorgeous day in Southern Croatia, hot as you can imagine. So this tower closes at 7 p.m. I don't know how long it takes to actually climb it. I almost went up earlier in the day, but at like 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, it was, there was like a line out the door to get into it, which I did not feel like waiting in, especially in the heat. So, hopefully this time around, a little later in the day, it won't be so crowded. This might be a popular time to climb it, to try and see the sunset. So back in the one of the large main squares here, I know you guys have already seen all this, so I won't bore you to death with the details. And in case anyone's wondering, this is on my new DJI Osmo that I bought here in Split after I got back from Havar, which was very expensive. And I actually just mailed my old one home today back to the United States for hopefully a repair. Now, the other thing to figure out is how I actually get inside. I think I go right here. Yeah, this looks right. There are steps here. Do you know how we actually get up into the, to climb the tower? Straight that way? All right, so this is it. Oh, I think it's to cover shoulders. Where do we get tickets? Uh, just across, at the door over here. At the door, okay, thank you. So yes, you do need a ticket. Um, which I think is, oh, there it is, I see it. The cheapest one here, which I think is 50 kuna. Oh, I have to get the one for 70 kuna to go up in the bell tower. See that? Yeah, so I have to get one for 70 kuna to climb the tower. The cheaper ones, the 50 and 60 kuna prices don't include the tower. Hello. What is the cheapest ticket that includes the bell tower? Cheapest. Green. 
green. Okay. Okay, I just want to do bell tower. Okay. No. Okay, thank you. Okay, great, thank you. It's 40 kuna, which I think is probably the cheapest ticket they have. There's other tickets in there you can like go and see. There's like a crypt and a mausoleum and stuff, but um, oh, it's just packed. That's the one. Oh, uh, that's uh, only for the belt tower. Yes. Uh, you can show it to my car. Okay, great. Is this how you get up right here? Okay. okay. Alright, this might get dark. Uh, I tried turning up the ISO on my action camera, but hopefully this doesn't get too dark. Wow, look at these steps. This is crazy steep. Thank you. Can you get through there? So it changes to metal stairs that are much wider. Oh, but look at how far up it goes. Oh, wow. That's way up there. This is crazy. And I mean, the views are already stunning, and I'm not even at the top yet. So, this is gonna be really, really cool. That's the train station right there. And that's the Central train station is split, goes from here to Zagreb and onward to Bratislava, Prague, elsewhere in the region. All right, so I just made it to the top and check out some of these views. all the fairies. 
There's all the ferries that are leaving for the islands or Italy. Okay, just heading down now. So that was it. Um, 40 kuna, totally worth it. So, it's a really nice look at the, these terracotta roofs that they have here in Split and really all throughout southern Croatia. Um, so yeah, 40 kuna if you want to just come up the tower only. Um, there's, again, you can do other tickets. There's a 70 kuna ticket, which lets you get into tombs and a mausoleum. Um, but I didn't really feel like doing all that. This was all I really wanted to do. So, closes at 7 p.m. Keep that in mind. I missed that last time I was here. But, yeah. This is a, this is a must, I think, if you're coming to Split. It's really, really cool views from the top. So that's gonna do it, guys. Really short vlog here. Just wanted to give you some insight as to climbing this tower, what it costs, what it looks like. So uh, with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya. Play some, yeah, we know what we made. Can't get enough for you.